Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at this awesome Campfire Audio Mammoth, something I've been excited about for the past seven or 10 days. Uh, I've been doing the review, putting it together for this, and finally the embargo is lifted and I can speak about these uh, openly. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome and please subscribe. We've got all the new Campfire Audios, the Satsuma, the Honeydew, and we have a review of the Holocene coming this week. Uh, we also have all the new Canera stuff and uh, a bunch of other chi fi stuff like the audio and we just did the little dot headphones review. Uh, this one is the Campfire Audio Mammoth and this is a cool, cool set of headphones. It's not going to be for everybody. This is predominantly, I would say, a bass headed uh, earphone. It's got uh, a accentuated bass and treble. We'll get into the sound in a little bit, but first of all, let's take a look at what you get in the box, the packaging, the build quality and all that other good stuff. I'm going to try and run through this one a little bit faster than my other reviews to get to the good stuff. So this is the box for the Campfire Audio Mammoth. You can see it's a, a really cool design. You get this like all seeing eye on the pyramid and stuff. You see the earphones and Mammoth. It's the exact same as you get on all other Campfire Audio boxes. It's standard across the line. You can see this is the Halo scene that we're gonna be reviewing later. Um, it's, it's straight across the line. It's, it's uh, standard, whatever you go for the Satsuma or the high-end Solaris stuff. It's this square cardboard box. When you open it up, You'll have this sitting in the middle of this, so you get the, this cool starburst opening. Really, really cool effect. I love the way that Campfire uh, take the extra, um, make the extra effort to give you that presentation that makes you go wow straight out of the box. Something that a lot of companies overlook is the presentation. It doesn't take a lot to do uh, something a little bit extra and make it feel a little bit special, but Campfire definitely do that. You get on the inside you get this uh, little box and open it up you get the campfire audio nicely done and here you'll find the accessories pack and the earphones come in the case let's look at the case first this is the best campfire audio case by far this thing is dope looking this this just looks so cool so out there uh, it's got the the same pattern that you get on the outside of the box it's really well made out of this recycled material. It's funky looking, but it's, it's sort of cool and retro. And I think it fits right in with the Campfire Audio aesthetic as a whole. Uh, I really, really like it. And it gives you somewhere where you can keep the earphones, a couple of cables, and uh, some extra ear tips and stuff just to, to carry it around. So it's a good size case, and it's lined with this sort of like fur lining on the inside, or sheep uh, lining on the inside, which is really, really nice, keeps them from knocking about on the inside. So good quality case, stunning design. The one thing, and this is gonna be a theme right across these earphones, is this is all, uh, if you can see the, the zipper tab and the logo, this is all glow in the dark. So at night, when you, you put it away somewhere, it's gonna glow in the dark. It's just a cool little touch that they're, they're just doing a little something extra. And this is gonna be a theme right across the earphones because the jack point, um, and the MMCX connectors are also glow in the dark as well as the logo on the earphones themselves. So we'll put that to the side, let's discuss the, um, the accessories in the box. The accessories is completely standard top to bottom in the line with uh, Campfire Audio's earphones. All of them come with the exact same, from what I know, uh, set of accessories. So I've just been using the other accessories I have. I had a look in these uh, during the review process. And here you get three different sizes of Comply foam tips. Uh, you can buy them separately on Campfire Audio's website and they're excellent. I really, really like these uh, foam tips and I don't usually like them with other earphones. You get the standard Campfire Audio ear tips. Uh, these are the silicone ones with a slightly wider borehole. I don't like them so much because I find it harder to get a seal with them. Uh, but some people might appreciate the, the softer texture of them. What they do though is they include what I consider one of the gold standards of ear tips, the final audio E series. And they include these in the, I think it's small, small, medium, 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 large and large. So you get five different sizes. So there shouldn't be any problem getting a seal. This has got super grippy rubber. It's got a smaller borehole, which again, with this is gonna accentuate the bass that even more. It's a bassy headphone, but this, this goes even deeper. Um, 
the these are really really good ear tips they're sold by final audio who are a competitor earphone company but i like that campfire have recognized that they're one of the best tips that you can get and that they've included them uh, as part of the packaging for all of the campfire audio earphones uh, also in here you get which is standard across the line and another nice little touch just giving you that little extra again uh, campfire audio pin badge nice little touch and in here you get the cleaning tool just to keep the earphones free of earwax or dirt and dust and you can see that they actually include the final audio ear to e series uh, manual um, and it explains a little bit about why they are so great but they are official final audio e-tips which I really like to see. You'll also get the user manual and the warranty card and apart from that that's it for the accessories. Let's take a look at the earphones and the cables uh, which these Campfire Audio have hit out the park. This is I believe the Smoky Glow I've complained a lot about Campfire Audio cables in the past. I really didn't get on with a lot of Campfire Audio cables. My biggest one was just the way it performs. They fixed that. This, th this is so much better in terms of, I don't know what they've done. I know it's a Litz cable, um, but in terms of the memory retention on it, it just retains so much less memory. You can see I'm just hanging this here and there's no knots and kinks. It's much more resistant to tangles. It's lightweight, it flows well. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the best cables that I've seen them use and that includes, I've had problems with their, their more expensive cables. Uh, this is a really, really good upgrade for them. You can see here that it is a quad twist and it goes into dual twist after the splitter. So you get four strands before the splitter, two strands in each uh, channel after the splitter. Really nicely made, nice hardware. You have this glow in the dark 3.5 millimeter connector. The only thing I wish they would do would be to include some sort of uh, an extra cable maybe that has a balance connector, either a 2.5 or a 4.4 millimeter balance connector. I think most people that are going to be buying earphones like these nowadays have a higher end DAP or DAC or something like that that's going to have a balance connector and it would have been nice for them to have accommodated that. Uh, for me, I use it with a Duna Hulk for the most part. Uh, I just really like that cable. I have the Hulk Pro on the way, which our review will be up uh, soon. Um, but as an out-of-the-box cable, I really, really like this. Uh, you have the ear guides here, metal uh, splitter point with a cinch that pops out and recesses into the splitter. Very nice. And up here you have the, if we can get it into focus, the glow-in-the-dark MMCX connectors that are beryllium coated and uh, just high quality materials nice nice cable performs well and for the first time ever I feel like I can take a campfire audio cable I can wrap it up and I can place it down and it doesn't budge nest so for those that know what I'm talking about there that was a big problem with our previous cables now let's go and have a look at the earphones themselves in my opinion I'm going to say the best looking campfire audio IEMs, maybe the Vega, um, which are another basic set of headphones with a ceramic shell. Um, but I love the color, this deep blue. Uh, it's just an absolutely gorgeous shade of blue with the black screws on it, accented it. And they've even, uh, if I pull off this ear tip, uh, they've even gone black with the little uh, connector there, uh, uh, sorry, the nozzle, which is on most of the other IEMs are stainless steel, but they've gone black there and it just matches really, really nice with a gold accent on the MMCX connector. So in terms of the, the styling build quality design, uh, Campfire have followed their true recipe. This is, you know, going back to the Orion and so on. This is a similar body to the sort of Orion, Jupiter, that sort of thing. It's the metal body. It's the traditional campfire audio shape. It's a stunning design. It's almost iconic at this point. You know, I can look at a set of earphones and be like, they're campfire audios, no matter how much um, KZ earphones want to try and copy them and make a budget version. These just look uh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. They have a medium depth insertation, or I'd say just slightly past medium. 
they are they give a good seal especially using those complies or with the final audio e series tips uh, very nice they sit perfectly this little thing catches in between my tragus and anti-tragus in my ear it locks in nicely feel very secure they're fairly lightweight for being a, a hybrid earphone with multiple drivers on the inside and uh, the construction is absolutely flawless there's there's no blemishes there's no um tolerance issues it is just perfectly put together i think all of these are hand checked and you can see here there's a little vent for the dynamic driver beautiful beautiful looking set of headphones i'm sure you will agree and in my opinion it's the best looking ones also the, uh, to note that this campfire audio logo is glow in the dark as well to match the rest of the theme so if we're going to get into the sound quality, uh, these are not going to be a campfire audio for the masses. These are a very particular sounding set of earphones. Campfire audio have fleshed out their product lineup. They have multiple earphones catering to different things. So you know how you have, let's take the Shure lineup. You have the 215, uh, it used to be the 315, 425 that sort of thing. And you were basically getting the same house sound with refinements. Campfire Audio don't do that. They produce different earphones for different things. They sort of have a very high focus, uh, sorry, a very flat focused one. They have a more uh, sort of moderate sounding one and then they have a very aggressive bass heavy one. You see that in the top line when you have the Andromeda, Jupiter, and the, the Vega, for example, the Vega being extremely bassy. The Andromeda being uh, very detailed, but with like a base, base bump on it, and then the Jupiter being like very flat sounding and analytical. Uh, this is towards their tuning for bass, and this uh, they've they've done this really really well. This is a high energy, fun sounding earphone. Um, it punches extremely deep. This has some whopping whopping bass and in terms of bass i mean it has deep deep sub bass and uh, deep sub bass it has good mid bass it is punchy and it's fast enough and it's articulate enough the mid range sits back from that and then you go up in a v-shape up to the extended treble the, the extended treble has a high sparkle on it uh, it's not quite sibilant but it's getting very close to that and the reason that you would want to do a tuning for this sort of thing is particularly for sort of EDM tracks. Uh, I was listening to uh, 10 Seconds Before Sunrise with Tiesto and stuff. Things like that where it has the, the treble peaking uh, to give that high energy, you know, the da 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 before it goes into the big booming bass drop at the bottom. Um, that gives you the energy and the excitement and the anticipation before you get that thumping, uh, club-like sub bass response and i really 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 like earphones like that when i talk about people buying earphones i will say to people it's, it's you don't do you don't buy one set of earphones to do a single job yes you can buy a single all-rounder something that's good at everything i tend to have three earphones in rotation at any one time depending what i'm listening to i will pick it up my earphones or headphones uh, I'll have something that is very analytical, like right now I'm using uh, the Etymotic uh, ER4s. Um, then ER4S, sorry. Uh, I'm using those as my reference right now. Uh, I'm using the Andromeda as my uh, sort of all around or uh, sit back, lay back listening. And then I'm listening to the Vegas uh, for that all out punch. Now that's a very expensive combination. That would run you 2,500 something in that region, 2,500-ish um, US dollars. These come in round about $500, between five and $600. And I think they're very much worth the money for that. And they give you that, that base focus one. If you predominantly listen to base and you've got about $500 to spend, these are very, very good. The other option in there, I would say the, um, the Excalibur by The Audio punches hard, but it's not the same sort of deep, ethereal, rumbly sub bass as this. Uh, this is sort of an extension on the Polaris 2. It's a, it's a more refined sounding Polaris 2. It's uh, got a lot more detail retrieval uh, than that. 
and it's not as aggressive in, in the top end. It's, it's more aggressive, but uh, the base even feels more refined as well. It's just overall a little bit better than that. In terms of the Vega, it lacks uh, the, the mid-range warmth when you're listening to a more varied set of, of music. Let's say you listen to something like Rodrigo and Gabriela or something like that, like where it's acoustic guitar prominent. Um, the Vegas are less aggressive on the sub bass in that point and bring up the, the treble, uh, sorry, bring up the mid range a little bit more and it's smooth and intimate. This is more high energy, uh, it's, it's, it's clean at the top end and it has impressive sub bass response. Uh, in terms of genres, the first song that you need to listen to these is the, just the first 30 seconds of uh, Two Feet Quick Musical Doodles. This thing absolutely bangs on that track, absolutely bangs. And then, the, and if you want to get an example of high energy, um, the high energy response and the actual speed of the sub bass, go and listen to Infected Mushroom Psycho. Uh, when that that picks up, very treble high, and then boom into just at the line of about five minutes in or something like that, he screams Psycho, and the the bass drop kicks in. Uh, really, really, really cool. Um, I wouldn't buy these if you're going to buy just one IEM and you listen to a wide variety of music. If you're wanting one IEM and you listen predominantly to bass heavy music, rock, pop, eh, sorry, pop, hip hop, eh, EDM, that sort of stuff, these are going to be perfect. Eh, if you're going for something else, I would probably choose some, if you want some more versatile with the audio oracle, eh, would be a better all around earphone for you. Uh, but if you're going to own these at the same time as owning something a little bit more mellow, uh, a little bit more flat, like a, a good combination would be this and the Kiwi Ears or this and the Fearless Audio S8P would be fin a fantastic combination, a two IEM combination. Um, but these, I, I can't say enough good things about these. There's nothing I really don't like when I analyse them as a, as a bass head earphone. They are fun, they're engaging, they're punchy, they are absolutely gorgeous. One of the best looking earphones I've seen in a long time. They are right on the money. I don't think they punch too much above the weight because with the, the tribirds that are coming out of China, it's a very competitive space between five, six hundred dollars. Uh, this this case is phenomenal. This one this is the best earphone case I've ever seen. This design. I'm I'm gonna hands out and say this is probably the best earphone I've ever seen, and this is probably the best, um, the best case that I've ever seen included. The accessories are on point, the presentation's on point, the cables vastly improved from what I've seen before. Uh, it's just all around a great effort by Campfire Audio, and this is a direction that they should definitely go in. If you're wanting to watch a review of something a little bit more mellowed out, I have the Helicene coming out. This is going to be much more referenced, much more uh, similar to the Jupiter. Um, it's a, a good earphone in its own right. This is my preference, obviously, because I have other earphones that do what the Helicene do. Um, but there's not much that, that does this. This is, this is a fun sounding earphone, definitely one that I would recommend. And yeah, uh, if you want to see any of the new reviews, please subscribe to the channel. If you like this one, give a like and I'll catch you on the next video. Also, comments uh, and requests for comparisons. I have a lot of earphones here. Anything you see on the channel, I can directly compare to this in a future video. Next week, I'm going to be doing direct comparisons between this and other stuff I have in my stable. So subscribe for that video. And if you want to see me directly compare something else, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you want to see this go head to head with. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you on the next one.